presentation, we have Ann Schoenier presenting Let the Fire Do the Work, Sagger Fire. Thanks. Hi, everybody. I'm a potter. And on most of my pottery, I'm using animal designs that I'm getting from indigenous art from all over the world. However, my favorite source of animal imagery comes from petroglyphs. These petroglyphs happen to be from the Sarmish Gorge in Uzbekistan. Most of the pots I make, I'm doing a pretty good job of getting the animal imagery onto it. But for me, what they're lacking is that sense of rock, of stone, all the irregularities of it. What I wanted to get were pots that um, that really had much more stony faces and look like the slide that I'm hoping shows up soon. Yes. <laughs> uh, these, these pots are, are what I'm going to be talking about for the next four minutes. And the method I use for getting them so they actually look like stone. What I'm doing is I'm using saugers. And a sauger is simply a container. It's a container that goes into the kiln with the pot in it. That sauger is packed with all kinds of leaves. I'm using mostly iris leaves because that's what I've got in my yard and they work really well. And when the pot goes into the sauger, the pot already has the animal on it in layers of clay. There are no glazes at all used in this. So each, each of these containers, each sauger, is its own separate environment. And that environment depends on the pot, um, the plants I'm using, how tightly it's packed, how tightly the lid fits, or importantly, how tightly the lid doesn't fit. And then it all goes into my kiln, and I'm working at cone 10, which most of you are not potters, it's something above 2300 degrees. And as it fires, the the, the plants that are scrunched around the pot, the mineral from that ash is becomes embedded into the pot itself, leaving all of these markings that are so typical of solid firings. Now, I found another way of doing this that's just nifty and fun. For this, I'm wrapping the pot first. There's a pot inside that bundle. And it's just wrapped very tightly with these leaves. And then that bundle is wrapped with numerous layers of newspaper and slip, which is a liquid clay that's just brushed on. So it's all rolled up together, it's squashed together, until you have what is, I call them pods. And these pods are the saugers. This is a sauger that's going to go into the kiln. Um, in, into my kiln, right along with other, the other pots, and in the process, again, the plant material is burning down, but also all those layers of paper are burning off. And what's left behind is, is the pot is now many layers of something that's more like eggshell. It's thin layers of clay. And as you handle them, they will break away. Now, Opening these are, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's sort of like Christmas, because you don't know what you're going to get when you open it. Maybe it's not quite as good as Christmas. Um, it's so much fun that friends and neighbors come over when I'm doing one of these, hoping that maybe I'll let them open one. <laughs> to be a potter is always to take chances. And doing soccer firing is risky business. Sometimes I get delightful surprises like the one towards the top, and sometimes I get sheer ugliness like the one at the bottom. And if you saw it in person, you'd know how ugly it is. <laughs> but I've got enough confidence now in what I'm doing that I'm going on and experimenting both with introducing other colors by working in other colored clays under the layers of what I'm doing, and also by altering wheel throwing pieces, and I'm a real wheel thrower, everything I do is round. Um, but with the soccer firing, um, using the paper clay method, you can wrap around any irregular shape. So it, it's kind of fun to start with an irregular shape. 
So at this point, my batting average is maybe somewhere around 50-50 for getting really good pots out of this process. I do it because I'm getting really good likenesses of the animal in the pots, and in the end, they really are looking like petroglyphs and cave paintings and things that look really old. Thank you.